Hi YouTube, I'm back again. I've got some more pickups to show you. Um, what we've got today is all the stuff that I've bought uh, online over the last few months. Um, those who've been following the videos recently, uh, I was away for quite a while off YouTube and all the stuff I bought was piling up. Uh, so I've been slowly going through the those uh, items and this is all the stuff, like I just said, that I got off the internet. Uh, places like eBay, Amazon, Zavi, um, Zoom, Arrow Video. Anyway, I'm going to just get straight into this. And firstly, uh, this is something that should have really been in my April update. Because um, I only got these a couple of weeks ago. But for some reason I missed them out um, and it's just a couple of slip covers actually which I don't tend to buy slip covers individually unless it's something that I specifically need to to fit a uh, collection which these I guess are but they're that cheap though 40 pence each was 80p for the pair and the DVDs as well um, so Star Wars The Force Awakens and Star Wars Rogue One. These are the limited edition. Uh, they came out, I want to say the back end of 2018. Um, in the run up to The Last Jedi release. And they reissued both of these exactly the same DVDs. Just with these slip covers. And these are literally just the slip covers. Uh, just got blank empty case inside um, and this is actually how they were sent to me um, now personally if I was sending these I'd have probably sent them flat um, together in a in a packaged envelope or something like that but these weren't these were sent like this inside the cases um, which it's great. I thought it was such a good idea to do that, but it must have cost more to post them. So I don't know why they were sent like this. Um, other than it obviously keeps the shape and protects them, I guess, more. Uh, certainly from bending. But yeah, I couldn't pass these up at, uh, at 40 pence each. Um, I've got both the, the movies uh, um, on DVD without slip covers, so I decided to grab them. Uh, and this next Blu-ray uh, finishes a collection. Unfortunately, it doesn't finish a set. Um, and this is The World Is Not Enough. Uh, with the slip cover. And I think there's nine of these. There might be nine or ten. I, I, I should have really had a count before I, uh, before I started this, but I didn't. And they're not... Uh, in my line of sight at the minute, they're downstairs on the shelf, the rest of them. But they only released those nine or ten uh, movies with this particular artwork and with the slip covers. Um, I do know that there's at least one more that was released in, I think, in Spain. Um, that's the only other one that I found with this artwork, um, although the title's not in English. So I'm not too fussed about getting that. But why they didn't continue and release the entire, or at least, at the very least, the first 20 Bond movies with this artwork, um, I don't know. But for whatever reason, they stopped and then reissued all of these with the rest of the movies um, with new artwork. So this is the last one that I needed to complete that collection. Uh, but unfortunately... There will never be a full set with this artwork, which is a shame. Uh, next one is Fast and Furious 8. Uh, this is brand new seal. This came off eBay. I only paid a couple of quid for this. It was a bargain. And uh, I did already own this. I won a competition uh, from Movie Mad, um, which I've mentioned in a previous video, I think. Uh, I got this and... Mad Max Fury Road and then I saw this on eBay and it was so cheap and it came with the slip cover which all the others or at least the last three or four uh, Fast and Furious movies I've got with the slip covers all those that have slip covers I've got the slip covers for so 
I just thought I just thought it made sense to grab this one um, to complete that set. And the, the previous one that I got, the one that I won off uh, of Movie Mad uh, in true Movie Mad fashion, went to uh, as a trade in at CEX. So, yeah, I've still got this movie. And actually, there's a, a digital copy in here, or there should be a digital copy in here that I already have. So, if you bear with me just a moment, I'm going to crack this open. Right, we've got into this now. So there we go. There's two versions of the movie. Uh, different code for each. So if anyone wants to give them a try. Um, this is brand new, as you saw, so they won't have been redeemed. I guess it's possible that they might have expired, but I think that's unlikely. Um, anyway, if you try them, and whether they work or not, um, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, anyway, I know that they've been redeemed, um, and so does anyone else who, you know, might be interested can see in the comments whether they've, they've been redeemed or not. Uh, and while we're on the subject of digital copies, uh, the Mad Max Fury Road that I received from Movie Mad also had the digital copy inside, um, although at this time it's second hand. So there's a possibility that has, that that has already been redeemed, but I don't know for sure. Well, you're welcome to give it a try. Um, once again, just let me know in the comments below. Either way, okay, moving on. I got this off eBay uh, in March um, for the princely sum of three pounds and fifteen pence. I think it was all the way from the states as well, uh, which I thought was really cheap. We don't have a UK release of this. On Blu-ray, um, at least I don't think we do. I, I did have a look online; I couldn't find any evidence of one. Um, but I like this movie; it's a lot of fun, um, and of course, you can't go wrong. It's got Christian Bell in there, so yeah, that's uh, hit and run Blu-ray and DVD. Moving on, uh, these are a couple of HD DVDs that I got off uh, eBay again. The Dukes of Hazard, the UK HD DVD release, which I needed for this collection. And Alpha Dog. This I think is a German release. But this this is a fantastic movie. Very underrated if uh, if you ask me. I really, really like this film. Uh, and this came off uh, Amazon. Um, I can't remember which it was. No, it was the five pound seven ninety nine. Um, Grange Hill, the complete series one and two. Uh, a blast from the past, as it were. My uh, childhood was Grange Hill. Uh, coming home after school and watching it, I used to love that program. I don't remember much of anything from these two series. Um, I mean, these would have aired in the 70s, 77 or 78, I think. So the chances are, if I did see these back then, that's probably the only time I saw them. Um, so, yeah, I've probably forgotten the most of what happened. Uh, but, yeah, definitely looking forward to grabbing the next uh, few series. A little bit pricey at the moment, so when the prices come down, or if I see them in CX, maybe I'll pick them up. But, yeah, I enjoyed that. This was a Black Friday pickup and it was a very big disappointment. Um, this is the complete first series of The Professionals. Uh, as you can see, it's just a standard Blu-ray release. Not what I was expecting. It was only £8 something. You know, it was pretty cheap and I do love this show. Um, but not what I was expecting. Um, what I was expecting was I got for Christmas. And this is series four and it's in this amazing set from network which this one is as well but for whatever reason they've stopped making this first season 
per series in this box set, um, which I didn't know. I just I'd, I'd always never I'd always seen these in these amazing sets, and that's what I thought I was getting without. But as it turns out, I didn't. So I just need to find two and three now. Okay, uh, some more Black Friday pickups. These were a fiver a piece, and I was uh, really chuffed that I grabbed these. We've got Transformers Age of Extinction in 3D. This, uh, of course, be lenticular, but it's not particularly great. Uh, slip cover, 3D Blu ray, Blu ray, and bonus disc, and also for a fiver. Uh, Transformers The Last Night um, without the lenticular, but uh, still the slipcover. Uh, and again, Black Friday from Zavi. Um, this was, was five ninety nine, but there was also an extra 20% off uh, to, when they did the Black Friday sale. I can't remember whether I got this on the Friday or whether it was later on the weekend, but the, the they had all the Black Friday stuff uh, on the website, but they, they did a, a special 20%, uh, extra 10% off. Was it 20% or 10%? Yeah, it was 10%. It was 10% off. Uh, I, I don't know. Loved this movie from way back in the late 80s, early 90s, which is when I first saw it on VHS. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun that. And also on the same deal from Zavi, we've got uh, a complete series of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Um, this was 19.99 in the sale, but with an extra 10% off, it was actually only 17.99, so I was really chuffed and I grabbed this. Uh, the complete series one, two, and three. I already had the first two on Blu-ray, which I, uh, as soon as I got this, I traded them in for twenty quid at um, CEX. So this pretty much cost me nothing. Oh, series three, what should I say? It was like pretty much exchanged the cost value. Uh, series one and two, and got all three series. So yeah, that was a good deal. Uh, and off eBay. Um, I don't know when I got this. Probably January, February time. It was definitely this year. Uh, Monsters University in 3D. This little cover. This is about three or four pounds, I believe. Uh, the Black Friday. This is off Amazon for a fiver. Carry on screaming. Probably one of my favourites. Certainly top five. Maybe even top three favourite Carry On films. Um, really like that one. And uh, there's not many of these on Blu-ray. I think there's maybe like four, four or five of the Carry On films have been released on Blu-ray. Uh, a TV series that I loved when it was on telly. And series one, which I have on here somewhere on HD DVD, um, which might be under the table. No, there it is. So I've got the HD DVD uh, years and years and years ago um, and they released the same set on Blu-ray uh, but then the following two series series 2 and series 3 never got a Blu-ray release and it's been so long I just assumed they were never ever going to get a Blu-ray release and then I came across this one day uh, it's a German release uh, unfortunately they've split them so this is uh, series 2 part 1 um, what I didn't expect was for it to come with a slip cover so that was pretty good it was really cheap I think it was about £6 um, so yeah I was really really happy that I found that uh, I'm sorry, I never thought I was ever going to get on Blu-ray and shortly after I came across this one um, on Amazon I think um, and this is series three, part two. Uh, yeah, really chuffed. It's a little bit more expensive, but still a really good deal. And uh, I'm in the dilemma now 
I've got those. Do I get this again on Blu-ray? Oh, I've got the full set. I mean, I don't have the full set yet because I'm still missing parts. Part one of series two, part two of series two, and part one of series three to get. It would mean getting series one, parts one and two, if I'm getting them to match that. But then it's just the expense. Then it'll be worth it, and I don't know if I find, if I come across them cheap enough, it's something I might do just just so I've got them all. It's not like they're the spines are uh, making up any kind of picture or anything. It's just nice to have uh, sets together on the shelf. Anyway, moving on. Uh, some more stuff that I got for Christmas. Uh, Man down the complete series one and two. This, this is absolutely hilarious. I really like this show. Uh, with uh, Greg. Greg, 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 what's his name? Greg Davies and uh, Rick Mail, of course, who uh, I think passed away during um, in between the two series, uh, which is really sad because he was really, really funny in this. I mean, he's, Rick Mail's really, really funny in everything, but speci specifically in that. And uh, then this was an odd one um, I got for Christmas. It was on me. It was on my wish list. Uh, it was one that I wanted, and it's the Adventures of Young Indiana Jones, Volume Three. Now I had Volumes One and Two also on that same wish list. Um, so why this one was purchased instead of Volume One, or even Volume Two, but more specifically Volume One? Um, I mean, I'm grateful to have got it. I really am. Uh, again, <laughs> this was a program that I really enjoyed. Um, I haven't opened it yet for, for obvious reasons uh, until I find the first two volumes to go with it. But yeah, I'm happy that I've got that. Um, I do have a bunch of these on VHS, but they didn't release the entire set. I, I guess that was their intention because they're all numbered, but they didn't release them in order either. There's um, I can't remember what numbers available, but some like vo volumes 6, 7, 8, and then volumes 12, 13, and volumes 15, 16, something like that. They, they just released random ones, but then they stopped releasing them for reasons that I don't understand. Uh, I'm sure there's something out there on the internet that says why, but I've never come across it. Okay, moving on. Uh, some 88 films releases. Um, both of these came off eBay and were ridiculously cheap. The Creeps, uh, the limited edition with a slip cover, was £4. Uh, Street Trash, again, the limited edition with a slip cover. Uh, this is 88 Volt, um, Volume 5, Spine Number 5. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a film. This is quite a film. Um, again, this is one that I first saw in the 80s on VHS um, and I've loved it ever since. I, I think I paid about three to four pounds for that. It was, it was an absolute bargain. Um, and these also came off eBay uh, quite recently. Um, both of these, for a while, were selling for ridiculous money, up to 30 pounds a piece. Uh, and he's from the Slasher Classics collection. So I've got Frightmare, uh, which is spine number 38, um, the limited slipcover edition, once again. And Popcorn, which is spine number 39. And this was uh, exclusive to 88 Films website, and both of these are sold out. Um, I managed to grab both of these for like eight to nine pounds. Uh, it was really, really, really cheap. Um, this one was sealed. Um, I think probably still is. It's just, this one's sealed underneath the uh, slip cover, whereas that one was sealed over the slip cover for whatever reason. But yeah, I'm glad to have got those once again because. I like to collect their 
the slip cover additions. It's just weird that some releases they release with the slip cover and then they'll release a couple without and then they'll release another one with the slip cover and then they'll release another one without and it just why don't they just do all of them, either all of them or none of them, but preferably all of them. Um, just my little rant. Um, some R88 phones, these were bought off Amazon. Um, both of these were all ones I was looking for in HMV. And of course when HMV uh, went to administration, they stopped getting new stock in and these went out of stock in HMV. And as far as I know, at least my local shop um, still haven't got either of these back in. Um, but Amazon had them, um, even though the prices were high. I did a uh, um, on the Camel 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 website. Um, I saved these as a search so that if the prices ever came down, uh, they'd send me an email, which they do. In fact, this one came up today. I didn't buy it today. Um, Zombie Flesh Eaters 3. This is the Italian collection. Release uh, slip cover uh, spine number 47. Um, yeah, this came. I got an email today to say they said price dropped again to 9.99, which is what I paid for this in the first place, which was the price point I, was. I didn't expect it to go below. But I don't know if the one on Amazon, even though it's pictured as with the slip case, whether it still comes with the slip case or not. Um, and equally. This was 9.99 Nightmare Beach. Um, actually, HMV have had this one back in, as I recall, um, but without the slipcover. So this this went out of print. The slipcover edition went out of print a few months ago. Um, again, this is the Italian collection, uh, spine number 44. I'm going to cut there for a the moment. Uh, carry on. I just need to uh, tie this lot up. Right, back again, moving on. Uh, so Eureka. This I missed out when it came out last year. Well, I didn't miss out, I just didn't buy it because I was pretty skinned at the time. Um, but my sister managed to find a copy uh, for me for Christmas. This is the box set of Police Story 1 and 2. Comes with this really nice, very much like the arrow releases, hard card slip cover. And each of these uh, is packed with its individual booklet, which I like. Um, just a single disc, Blu ray only, but that's okay. Um, great films. Uh, I've watched the first one, um, I own both of them actually on DVD. Um, I haven't got around to watching the second one yet, although I've seen many, many years ago. Yeah, it's a, a great little set. Let's see if we can get these back in. Awesome. And then very similar to that, uh, this I did buy when it came out. Project A uh, and Project A Part 2. Um, very similar to, to that one, the, both movies in there, both come with a booklet uh, as well as the disc. Um, but yeah, they're fantastic sets and I'm really chuffed to have got both of those. Uh, some Arrow coming up. Um, this I got off eBay, again it was really cheap, I think it was about £3. Um, this is the DVD window box edition of Tenebrae and that I, I needed for the collection. Um, like I mentioned a lot of times, these uh, old Arrow releases with the uh, white cases and the white bordered uh, sleeves and, and specifically the window boxes, are, the Blu-rays, I have all the window boxes but the DVDs are still missing a few. Um, so yeah, I'm just have got this. Comes with a, like most of them do, a booklet and a poster and a right blinking mess by the looks of it. I think this one might have a, a brochure as well. Yeah, it does. So yeah, that was a, a pretty.
pretty uh, pretty good find. Um, I haven't seen any more of these since then. To grab, uh, but also from Arrow, they had a sale. Um, I think there's a sale. There. In fact, there is a sale going on right now. Um, I got these in the sale, in the New Year's sale, uh, for four quid each at Arrow. Um, so I got Viva, uh, which is the Shameless release, which Arrow now selling uh, all the Shameless titles on their website. And this comes with the slip cover. Um, and for four quid, I was chuffed to grab that. Um, another white uh, white box edition, uh, Bayes Moi. Um, I thought this had sold out a long, long time ago, but uh, they had it on the website. Um, so I grabbed it because it was one that I needed. Uh, then from eBay, one that I've been uh, looking to get for a long time. Um, although I didn't care for this movie the first time I saw it, and the, the first time and only time for many, many years back in uh, I would say about 89 or 90. That's the stuff. Um, again, I saw it on eBay for a great price. Um, it's the original issue with the booklet and the two format DVD and Blu-ray. So I was happy to have got that. Uh, and then this one came to me courtesy once again of Movie Mad. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, in one of his uh, movie hunting videos he was in the charity shop which had a bunch of what I considered quite overpriced uh, blu-rays but there was this this one that I didn't own and it was a limited edition that had gone out of print quite a while ago and I sent him a message saying you know I'd seen this in the video and if he wouldn't mind the next time he was out there if they still had it would he grab it from me and the very next day he went and did that uh, so this is brain damage this is a, the original base limited edition with the slip cover to this set with a huge plethora of extra features which we don't seem to be able to there we go focus on um, and even though it was seven ninety nine, which I would consider that really expensive for a charity shop, for this particular release, it was actually a really good price. So I was chuffed once again to have got that. Then these last few um, all came out of Amazon. Most of them, I think, I pre-ordered. Uh, so pretty much everybody got this one I think I mean, most of these they probably did um, and why wouldn't you uh, it's an awesome set this is what the world comes with three different cuts of the movie and once again stacks and stacks of extras uh, and as most of them do as well as the movie you get uh, a nice big booklet and I think there's a poster on this one as well I don't even get this out of here I don't want to drag it all out. Uh, so yeah, that's the poster, which is pretty much the same as. In fact, I think the the two sides are those two uh, artworks. And then you've got a three disc set and the booklet. So yeah, that was another one. Happy to get. I think this has gone out of print now, like most of these limited editions. One of these I think is still available, and um, because this isn't going to close now for awkwardness. Uh, this was a bit of a disappointment. Not the not the set, um, City of the Living Dead. It's it's an awesome set, uh, much like all the others with the booklet and the poster. Uh, but the transfer to me, um, considering it's supposed to have been uh, remastered, it just doesn't look any better than the previous version. Um, it by no means looks awful, but at the same point it didn't look great either. Um, 
doesn't detract anything from the movie. The movie is still brilliant. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit disappointing that they, uh, they didn't... I don't know what I expected, to be honest. It's an old film, but... Yeah, to me, it just didn't seem any better than the original Arrow release. Then we have The Candyman. Um, oh, thank God, I think this is also still available. Uh, certainly at Amazon. I don't know if, um, if Arrow still have it on their website. Uh, but yeah, that's a nice set. And then finally, I'm just going to move some of this up and out of the way. Didn't look this much in the uh, <laughs> in the box. Right. Finally, we've got, and of course, Crimson Peak. I have a love hate relationship with this release. Um, it was a nice idea what they did. Uh, Why does it need this? You know what, I'm like, I hate J cards. Um, most people just pull these off and chuck them away, but I like to have my releases complete. The problem is with the J card, you can't, it doesn't slide out. You can't actually get into this damn thing until you do something like that. So yeah, it's a pain in the backside to get into, but once you're in it, it's a, it's a really nice set. So you've got poster, you've got art cards, and then deep inside here, I'm not going to pull it on out, you've got uh, the disc as well. But it's just faffy, fiddly, and it's a pain in the backside. And as much as I like it, <laughs> at the same time, I just the packaging bewilders me it really does i don't know why they, they, they decided for this one release to change change up what is a great great uh, system that they've been using for their packaging and all of a sudden they've got i don't know anyway it's still a it's still a, an awesome release just a it's just a pain in the ass of, of, of packaging um but yeah before i go into that anymore and start uh, off on one we're going to end it pretty much here. Um, so it's quite a, a mix of stuff. We've got mostly Blu-rays this time. Um, some 3D stuff, some TV series, some uh, German releases, which I don't get that often. And uh, a bunch of 88 films and Arrow, um, which is always nice to grab. Um, I've got one more, one more to do now, and then I'm up to date. Um, and the last, last of these pickups videos from the last, I think it's almost six months, uh, is everything that I bought out in the wild that didn't come from a charity shop, I believe. Um, so we're looking at HMV, uh, places like cash converters. Um, time bargains which is what used to be cash generators uh, there might be some Granger games but I'm not sure um, and I'm just struggling to think of where else I could have got stuff from um, obviously not CX because I did those in a separate video which I should have probably said that when I said everywhere except territory shops what I meant to say what I should have said was everywhere except cherry shops and CX. Anyway, it's uh, it's a little bit since I've had luck through that box, so I'm going to take a look now, and yeah, I'll catch you in that next video. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time. Ciao.